Or President Obama will address the nation to lay out his plan on immigration. The measure would make as many as 5 million people across the nation eligible for work permits and would shield some from deportation. The president says his focus is keeping families united and lifting the threat of deportation for students who came to the U.S. as children and undocumented parents of kids who were born here. The plan will be pushed forward by executive action, not through Congress. It also includes cracking down on immigrants with serious criminal records, including gang members. And families throughout the country are anxiously waiting for the president's message. There are watch parties happening all around southern Colorado. KRDO News Channel 13's Dana Molina has the story of one family who could be affected by the president's executive action. Oscar and Paloma Macedo are like any other average American family. They have two boys and a third one on the way. He's a drywall finisher. She's a stay-at-home mom. We try to live life like every simple person here in the United States. Go to work every day, do my hours, maybe sometimes 10 hours, and come home with the family and watch TV. But there's one difference. Oscar and Paloma are undocumented. I was brought here when I was five months old to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, my mom and dad brought me here. I was one year old. That's why the couple will be keeping a close eye on their TV tonight, waiting for what President Obama will say. I'm going to be announcing here from the White House some steps that I can take to start fixing our broken immigration system. The Macedos hope those steps include some kind of relief for them. Their boys, four year old Oscar, and six-year-old Yair are U.S. citizens. Their biggest fear is being separated from them. Whatever I have to do to keep my family happy, I am going to do. If I have to work harder 20 hours a day, I will work 20 hours a day. We pay our taxes, we pay our insurance, our medical bills. Um, we pay our own rent, our own food. We're not trying to take nobody's job away. We're not trying to take advantage of the government. I mean, we're here to work and to support our family. And they say that's their American dream. That was Dana Molina reporting. Now the president is facing fear.